talk will be on public key identification schemes based on multivariate quadratic polynomials by Koichi Sakamoto, Taizo Shirai, and Hanunaga Hiwatari. Koichi will be the speaker. Thank you, Chair. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you about our new identification scheme. Our motivation of this work is finding a new alternative to current standard schemes, for example, RSA, for public key identification and digital signature. Especially, we would like to provide an alternative based on a problem other than factoring or discrete log. There are a number of, number of prior, prior works in this area. For example, identification schemes based on permitted kernel problem, syndrome decoding problem, and lattice problem. On the other hand, we focus on another problem called MQ problem. Let's begin with what is an MQ problem? The MQ problem is solving a multivariate quadratic equation system over a finite field. Concretely, given coefficients of the equation system and the, sol the problem is finding a solution of a system. And this function consisting of multivariate quadratic polynomials is called MQ function. And this, pro this problem is very promising problem for cryptography because of the following three advantages. First, the MQ function can be efficiently implemented. Second, the MQ function can be used as a one-way function with very short output, for example, only 80 bits. And the interactability of a random instance have been well examined for a long time. Finally, the associated decision version of the MQ problem is NP-complete. In fact, there is no known polynomial time quantum algorithm to solve it in contrast to factoring or discrete log. Multivariate public key cryptography, or MPKC, uses this form of function. But many existing schemes of MPKC have already, are already shown to be insecure. What is the reason why this happened? Existing design of multivariate PKC is based on a tropter function from composition of easily invertible maps. For example, MI scheme, HFE scheme, and U of V scheme are based on this design. In this design, a secret key consists of these three easily invertible maps and the public key is the complete function of the three maps. The complete function is a highly limited form of MQ function. But the key recovery problem is not an MQ problem, but another problem whose interactability is still controversial. The problem is called isomorphism of polynomial problem. In fact, this causes that some schemes of MPKC have been already shown to be insecure. So we employ a totally different design. Our design is based on what their knowledge argument of knowledge for the MQ problem. Of course, there is a trivial construction of such a protocol for any NP language. So, especially 
Our design is based on non-trivial and efficient construction by using our original technique. We note that it uses, a, uses not a composite function, but a random instance of MQ function. In this design, coefficients of the MQ function can be commonly used by all users. So a secret key is an input of the MQ function, and the public key is the output of the function. By using this design, you can get a following two advantages. First, the key recovery problem is an MQ problem. In fact, the security of our scheme can be reduced into the interactability of the MQ problem. Second, the size of a public key is very small. For example, 80 bits for 80 bit security. This is the summary of introduction. First, we focus on the MQ program, which is very interactable and promising. Then, we introduce a different design than existing MPKC. The existing MPKC, a design, a existing design of MPKC is based on a trapezoidal function from composite Composition is of easily invertible maps. So the key recovery problem is not an MQ problem, but another problem whose interactability is still controversial. On the other hand, our design is based on a zero knowledge argument of knowledge for the MQ problem. So the security can be reduced into the interactability of a random instance of MQ problem. That was the introduction of this talk. Then, I'd like to talk about new technique and construction. Here, we consider a two entities, a prover Alice and verify Bob. And we suppose that both of them have a common instance Y of MQ program. In this situation, a prover artist asserts that she has a solution of the MQ problem. On the other hand, a verifier Bob checks whether the assertion is true or not through, through interaction with artists. In this protocol, if Y and X used as a public key and a secret secret key, then this protocol can be used for a public key identification. The security can be derived from two properties, their knowledge and argument of knowledge. Roughly speaking, their knowledge implies that a verifier Bob cannot any information on the secret key. And argument of knowledge implies that nobody can cheat Bob. In, in order to con construct such a protocol, a cut on two approach is useful. So we review the cut on two approach. In this approach, first, a prover Alice divides her secret into shares. For example, share zero and share one. Then, a verifier Bob chooses which share he checks, either zero or one. Finally, she proves the correctness of the chosen share without revealing her secret itself. For example, a verifier a, a prover Alice reveals her uh, the secret as uh, the share I. Then, a verifier Bob checks the correctness of the share I. 
for this approach, we should solve how to divide a secret key into shares and how to check the correctness of each share. A property of homomorphism is useful for this approach. For example, in the case of modular exponentiation, if a secret key X is divided into two, share, two shares, R0 and R1, then a public key d to the power x is correspondingly divided into two parts, each of which is verifiable from R0 or R, either R0 or R1. But the m cube function is not homomorphism. So we introduce our new original technique for the m cube function. For our m key function f, we consider a situation where a secret key is x and the public key y is f of x. In this situation, you can find the useful property of the m key function. That is, the associated polar form g of the m key function f is bilinear function. The polar form G is this form of function. By using the useful property, we can divide a secret key into three shares. First, we divide the secret key X into R0 and R1. Consequently, the public key y is also divided as this equation. Second, we further divide the information on R0. That is, R0 is divided into T0 and T1, and F of R0 is also divided into E0 and E1. Consequently, a public key y is divided as this equation. So the secret key x is divided into the three shares. Here, here we note that this part is verifiable from share zero and share one, a uh, share two. And this part is also, also verifiable from share one and share two. Moreover, no information on the secret key X can be extracted from only two out of the three shares. <coughs> Using this technique, we construct a protocol. This is our basic protocol. First, Approve Alice divides her secret X into three shares. Then she commits these values. Finally, a verifier Bob chooses a challenge zero. Then Approve Alice reveals her uh, reveals secret uh, uh, reveals share zero and share one. If a verifier Bob chooses a challenge one, then a prove Alice reveals share one and share two. Finally, a verifier Bob chooses challenge two, then Alice reveals share zero and share two. For the security, we can show the following theorems. First, this protocol is statistically zero knowledge when the commitment scheme is statistically hiding. Second, this protocol is argument of knowledge for the MQ problem with knowledge error two thirds when the commitment scheme is computationally binding. So the commitment scheme is statistically hiding and computationally binding. Then this protocol is statistically zero knowledge argument of knowledge for the MQ problem with knowledge error two thirds. And such a commitment scheme can be constructed from a collision resistant hash function. But 
for public key identification, the, this protocol should be repeated a number of times because the knowledge error of the <coughs> protocol is two thirds. So here we consider two types of composition, sequential composition and parallel composition. The sequential version of our scheme achieves the security against active attack. The security model supposes an attacker who can interact with an honest prover. On the other hand, the parallel version of our scheme achieves the security against active, a passive attack. But the security model supposes only eavesdropper. So the sequential version of our scheme satisfies higher security requirements. But if underlying MK function is, is substantially compressing, for example, a map from 160 bits to 80 bits, the parallel version of our scheme also achieves the security against active attack. We compare with public identification schemes based on another problem whose associated decision version is NP-complete. Especially, we consider the schemes from three-pass zero knowledge argument of knowledge. This table shows the public key size for 80-bit security, the communication data size, the number of arithmetic operations, and required random permutation. These figures are in the case that the protocol is repeated until the impersonation probability is less than two to the power of minus 30, which is less than one billionth. As you see, the performance of our scheme is highly comparable. Especially, the public key size is very small, only 80 bits. In addition, our schemes doesn't require any random permutation. Finally, we summarize this work. We propose public key identification schemes based on our MQ problem through new design, which is totally different from existing MPKC. Technically, the design is based on a zero knowledge argument of knowledge for the MQ problem. And the advantages of our scheme are the security and the public key size. The security can be reduced into the interactability of a random instance of MQ problem. And the size of a public key is very small. For example, only 80 bits for 80 bit security. Another, as, as another application, a digital signature schemes based on the MQ problem can be also realized. Thank you for your attention. So we have time for one question. Okay, so let's thank our speaker again.